Hey our friends, today is US Coast Guard Day and we thought it would be fun to celebrate by drawing a US Coast Guard boat. We hope you're gonna follow along, you need your drawing supplies. What are we using? Markers. And? Paper and some to go with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. We have our paper turned horizontal so that we can draw our boat nice and big. And we're gonna start by drawing the top of our boat. We're gonna draw a line, a horizontal line, across the middle of our paper. So we're gonna start here and you could turn your paper um, sideways if you wanted to draw it a little straighter. My, my line's a little wobbly, that's okay. You could draw it like this and then pull the line straight towards you. Sometimes that helps. I'm gonna go back over it. There you go. You could also use a ruler if you wanted to really make it straight. Look at that. That's really straight. And you didn't use a ruler. Look at that, that's <laughs> awesome. Okay, now we're gonna step down. Right here we're gonna draw a little diagonal line in the back and then we're gonna extend the line a little further to make the boat longer. Okay, now we're gonna draw the front and we're gonna angle it. First, let's draw a short line down and then we'll draw a diagonal line coming under. Then we're gonna draw the back of the boat over here. So we could draw the same short line that we did up here and then we're gonna draw the back of the boat angled in but not as, not as drastic as this line. Yeah. And then we're going to draw it coming underneath like this. And we're going to stop right, right about under that little step down. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to turn my paper like this. I'd like turning my paper. It is make it easier sometimes. So we're going to start here at the front of the boat and we're going to curve for the bottom of the boat. And then we're going to come straight back and then connect to that diagonal line. So we've got that curve right here at the front. Good job. Oh, that looks awesome. Now we have the bottom of our boat. Let's start adding a few more details on top of the boat. And we're gonna draw a diagonal line coming up right here. And then we're gonna draw a longer diagonal line, but not as steep. So it's tipped a little bit to the left. Yeah, that's a good spot. Now we're gonna draw a line right here and connect to the middle of this back one. Then we're gonna draw the windshield kind of coming up here. And then we're gonna connect this one and we can also go past it just a little. Yeah. And then right here, let's curve it down. So awesome. Yeah. That looks really cool. Okay, let's add even more details. Now we're gonna draw the front glass Let's draw two lines coming in right here. And then we're gonna connect those together. It's kind of like a car, right? Yeah. Then we're gonna draw another diagonal line that matches. And we're gonna turn it into a, kind of a rectangle shape. We'll go, come around, trace around that inside of the shape. Mine is kind of like a square. I like that yours is a different proportion and a different size. That's awesome. I really love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. It's my favorite because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. And it's okay if your drawings are looking different too because I'm sure they're turning out really cool. All right, let's keep going. Now we can also divide the glass in the middle. Let's add a railing right here. We're going to draw a line that comes up and then we're going to curve across the glass. Then we can also put, oh yeah, keep going. Let's put bars right here, kind of holding or bracing that bar, the longer bar. Yeah, let's also add a bar back here. We'll draw a straight line up. Then we're gonna draw a, a straight line coming back. And then I'm gonna curve down. And we could also even curve a little bit further back like this, like have a big bend in it and then let's connect it to the back of the boat. Now let, let's add a life preserver, or maybe it's a, yeah, life preserver, or a rescue tube, and then we can draw another circle inside. And we can draw, let's draw another bar, maybe this one's going through the rescue tube, coming out the back, and then we can also connect it coming down. If I ever go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. That's a really fun detail on the back. Let's add a few more details. I'm gonna draw a rectangle shape here. Maybe another one right next to it. This could be part of the engine. 
Let's also add a rectangle shape right here. This could be a window for going below deck. And then let's add the equipment that's on top. I think they have a lot of different like radar equipment and radio equipment. I'm gonna draw two diagonal lines that come up and then connect them at the top. And then let's draw two short lines coming up from there and connect those at the top too. We could also, have some. sometimes I think I see some of this equipment spinning on the top. We could put a little rectangle shape. Oh, let's draw another square shape right here. And I'm gonna draw another square shape right next to it. This could be a siren. I think sometimes they have lights on top to get people's attention. This could also be a loudspeaker so they can speak to other boats. Oh, let's draw some antennas and also maybe a flagpole. Let's draw a big line coming straight down. And then we could have the Coast Guard flag or the US flag. I think the US flag comes out the back. Let's do another pole coming up and diagonal. Then let's draw a rope coming down. This is where the flag is flying. The US flag. Let's draw a rectangle shape coming out, down, and back in. And then let's draw a little square in the corner for the blue field. Cool, that looks awesome. I love all these extra details. Let's add that Coast Guard flag up here at the top. Let's draw another rectangle shape coming out, down, and back in. And then let's draw another field right here. This one's white, and then I think it has the Coast Guard insignia right here, and then stripes go down. Well, let's add maybe another rectangle shape here. This could be some other equipment. Maybe this is a floodlight. They need lights sometimes to shine on other boats. We can connect it in. Oh, let's add the graphics to the side of the boat. I'm gonna turn my paper this way and draw the top of the boat. I'm gonna pull this line so that it can be nice and straight. We're gonna follow it down like this, all the way to the back of the boat. Yeah, keep going. Then let's also, I'm gonna turn it again. We're gonna draw a line that cuts the boat right in the middle, like this. The bottom of the boat is black. And then we're gonna put the stripes right here and also write US Coast Guard. Nice job. Now let's draw those diagonal stripes. So we got two lines right next to each other. That's red. And let's just draw a circle for the insignia there. We're gonna keep it nice and simple. And then we can draw two more lines. This is for the blue stripe that's a lot thinner next to it. Then we also have, I think there's a light right here that we can shine. And then let's write US Coast Guard right here on the side. So we're gonna draw a U, or write the letter U, and then a period, and then an S. And we're gonna to try to write this close to each other so that we're not writing it all the way back here. <laughs> we're gonna draw another period. And then we're gonna draw, we're gonna write the word coast. C, O, a, S, T. There's coast. Now we need to write the word guard. And that's G, U, A, R, D. Awesome, what are we missing? The propeller. Yeah, we have no way to make the boat go fast. <laughs> Let's draw a diagonal line that comes out from the boat and we're gonna come down and stop about there. We don't wanna go all the way to the end of the boat. And then we're gonna draw another line right next to it. I'm gonna turn my paper like this so I can draw it really close. That way we can add color to this. And then let's connect the front and also the back. And then we're gonna draw the propeller. We're gonna draw a U-shape below and an upside down U-shape above. 
And then let's connect those two U shapes with a sideways V. Then we're gonna add the rudder right behind it. So we're gonna draw, and we're kind of running out of room. So we can just draw, let's draw a line that comes, you can draw it coming out like this and then down. So it comes out behind the propeller. And then we're gonna draw a kind of a rectangle shape. And this is what steers the boat. Yeah, we did it. We finished drawing our US Coast Guard boat. It looks really cool with all of these details, but we're missing something really important. Coloring. Yeah, we need to color it. This part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to finish your drawings by adding color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We finished drawing and coloring our U.S. Coast Guard boat. It looks so cool colored in. It looks way better colored in. Yeah, I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings too. And you could also add a background. You could add water. You could add other boats, maybe smaller Coast Guard boats, or even bigger Coast Guard boats in the background. Yeah. A lot of Coast Guard boats are white, but I wanted to add like, kind of this peach color because maybe it's at sunset. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I just <laughs> didn't want to leave it white. But you guys can color it differently. Some of the Coast Guard boats are gray, then they also have ones that are, have a lot more red. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing a U.S. Coast Guard boat with us. We do, and we hope you had fun celebrating the Coast Guard. We're grateful for all of the service that they provide, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.